Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine and are keeping safe. If this is the first time you're meeting this bold, beautiful, unapologetic baby girl, my name is Sean Arwa and welcome to our YouTube channel. You are going to fall in love with us. All you have to do is to subscribe, turn on the notification uh, bell so that when I post you get notified and then just watch our, our channel. That's all. So now, this is it. I asked you guys to send me names of people you think I should smash. Or pass and I must admit you people did I don't know if it's a good job or a bad job I'm questioning are these the type of people that we have in Kenya these are your best I thought so too so let me let me just make this clear I decided that for this video I am not going to do any makeup I am not going to put on any fancy something nothing nothing just me so that when I pass you, you don't come here and say you're passing people and yet you've colored your face and yet you have a ton of makeup, you have a lot of insecurities. And no, if I pass you, I pass you with my full chest and I pass you with my bare face, okay? And also, if I pass you, it's not because I don't like you or because you're ugly. Maybe it's just that you, you are passable, you get it? Yeah, so let's just start. Without further ado, let's jump right in. And do what so we guys we are going to start by understanding the meaning of smash so we go to google smash to hook up with someone sexually so i want to believe these are people that i will comfortably and sexually hook up with you get it and if you are a girl i want to try and imagine if i was attracted to girls would i comfortable i comfortable okay would I comfortably hook up with you? So that's just it. If I say I'm not going to, if I say I'm going to pass you, it only means sexually, I'm not attracted to you. I might be attracted to your personality. Don't get it wrong, okay? But I'm not going to hook up with you. But I, I, that's it. Number one is Pascal Tokodi. Pascal has to be a pass for me because I genuinely feel Pascal is very handsome but overrated like i think i think i don't know if this is going to make me look bitter or something but i i, I don't find him sexually attractive i'm i i'm not attracted to him and uh, most of the time when i see like all the movies in kenya where they need like a main character who is very very handsome and that girl can't help it but fall in love with him and then they give it to pascal i'm like no we can do better as a nation I'm not saying he's not good looking. He is because he kind of resembled my pastor's son. Oh. Tomo! Tomo! Um, but he has to be a pass for me. I think he's 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 okay, he's nice and all that, but Kenyan Swanam Chocha, like he's you know he's a pass for me. Flaco. Flaco also has to be a pass for me because I really like Flaco, but as a friend i love his work on the internet i i i've i've subscribed to his channel and all that but sexually i am not attracted it's a pass because i also have my own preferences in men and he doesn't meet the cat <laughs> you get but no 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 bad blood baby boy i love you number three is um trevor or binger i don't know who that is i'm sorry i don't know who that is Alfred Mutua. Some of you have daddy issues right now. Like some of you were abandoned by their fathers and you want me to start attracting men that resemble your father. I don't like Alfred Mutua. Reasons being, I don't know. I don't like him. I don't find him. Okay, I like him. Okay, I don't care about him. Like, that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Willis Raburu, that has to be a pass for me because you don't have a reason. Like, I really like Willis, he's my good friend, I want to believe, but not a way of, of, of smashing. I care about him, I wouldn't want to smash him violently. Get it? Yes, guys, thank you. 
Next is El Comone. That's a no. Thank you. Let's move on. Otile. Eh? Let me tell you guys something about Otile Brown. There was this time um, in December, I think. Around December. Let me tell you. First and foremost, I come from a very funny family. This event, Zaku Dance, nini, 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 you can't go. Because those are events of the devil. Those are bad events. So now, uh, we were, we were, it was just New Year's Eve. Leo and then people are celebrating New Year. So now Otile was performing in um, a certain hotel. Let me just remember the name. Blue Moon something. Moonshine. Otile was performing in Moonshine. It's in, I don't know. Let me see how you know. But as I asked, we were in the next hotel, just bordering, neighboring the next hotel, Kabisa, Kabisa. And the charges, I think maybe were like 5K. I'm not so sure, 5K or 500, one of the two. But the thing is, my family, we don't believe in that. Me, I believe in it, but our family don't believe that. Me, I believe in being entertained. I believe in going somewhere and dancing and shouting and embarrassing myself and doing the most. But my family, we don't believe in that. We believe in sitting at home. Okay, or if we go somewhere, we, we chill and we keep quiet and we drink juice and we say cheers and we say let's go home. But me, I don't believe in that. So now, around Sa Sita, Sa Satano, na 59, like 11 59 p.m., we are just about to usher in the New Year's Eve, Sasa Equate 2020, right? So now we are shouting one, two, no, it's not one like that, it's only. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Happy New Year! And then Otile, they they play, they do 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 the fireworks. They, they, everyone is hyped, and then Otile jumps on stage. So guys, I wasn't in the same hotel as Otile. I was in a different hotel, but there is a very big boundary between them. Those big rocks. If you've been to Mombasa, they're normally big rocks and you can't cross. And then they were like security on the other side up to the ocean, ocean end. So you can't, if you are on the other side, if you've not paid to see Otile, you can't come this side. So now me, I'm on the other side of the people who have not paid. We're just listening to rumba and all that, you know, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I kid you not. Know, the moment I just said, give it up for Otile. You see that big uh, boundary that I was telling you about. Man, I jumped. Pop. I just came from my hotel to the other hotel. Like flying squad. And my family members were like, think about your life. You are a failure. You are a failure. You can never make it. Who is this? But I jumped. The security guards thought I have died because, like, who does that? Like, I just, it, it might be, like, from fourth floor to the ground floor. I just jump. And it's, it's not like I love Otile like that. I don't know if I just love being rebellious or I just wanted to prove to them that you can't. <laughs> so now I jump and then people think that I've died. Meaning, nani, I wake up, I go and mingle, mingle, because the security thinks I'm dead. And also, if I'm not dead, they will carry me and throw me out. Girl, I'm not paid. So now I jump and then I gilia cut cut and then I go. Ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not, I found myself in the stage dancing with Otile. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Otile, back then I would smash him. Now, yes. So Otile is a yes. I love Otile Brown. Crazy cannot no, thank you, because I. Yeah, I you know Chris Kenna. I think we respect each other as content creators, okay? And not, let's not disrespect each other and trying to say, oh, let's smash or let's do. No, 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 no. Thank you, Otile. Chris Kenna. The next one is Flatty Carlos. Flatty Carlos. Why would I smash someone who's already flatty? Who is that now? Who is Flatty Carlos now? I don't know him. Respectfully, okay? So, because he's flatty. No, I don't want to flat around Butros. I think this Butros is Butros Munene. Um, I used to, I used to, for a very long time, I used to think that Butros is my ex. I kid you not, for a very long time, because I used to date a guy who was called someone Munene, and he looked like Butros so, so much. And my sister literally had to DM Butros and say, Excuse me, Butros, are you my. <laughs> The embarrassment, and then it turned out that he, <laughs> it's not him. Okay, like, and 
I, I didn't know Butros. My sister just showed me when he was like, me Kosingo pair, Atuanjira Kosingo. So that's when I kind of knew. And I was like, wow, Lynn, are you sure this is not so and so? And Lynn was like, I don't know. For a very long time. And I would tell people that Butros is my ex. So am I going to smash Butros? I consider him my ex. So it's a no. He's not my ex. He's not the one. I've never met him. He's never met me. He just looks so much like someone I know. The next one is Nviri. Nviri, 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 No, I would not. Yeah, I think because I don't know him. We don't have any relationship. I don't know his character. I don't know. Like, there's so many things I put into consideration because before I smash you, so no, thank you. The next one is Ben Sol. Who is Ben Sol? Hey! What do we hear of this? I will tell a pastor about this. He's a guy from South So, but I really can't quite get. Isn't really the same as Ben Soul? Which song has Ben Soul sung? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I can't understand who is Ben Soul. Bombe cigar, no. Kukuruku. I'm just. I, I just know that all of Ben Soul's songs, Zinanza gonna yo kukuruku. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they make Sherini Kimona Mimi na kufa ah Aninya Jomoko Mami Kava Tatu Ayara Sana Pelana That's him. No. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. I'm going to put him up at pause. Kwa sababu I can't get him, Kabisa. Najarimu kum kumbuka. Anakwanga na rasta. That's in video also have raster. In video in the only one corner scandal like Elodie. I'm a, my God, I can't. Okay, let's leave it there. Next is Breedy. Breeder. Who is Breeder? Who is Breeder? When you guys were guessing, please suggest people that I know. I don't know who Breeder is. I'm sorry. I can't say yes or no. Jeff Koinange. Let me tell you a little story again about Jeff Koinange. Guys, there was a time I was just so obsessed with Jeff. Like, I love Jeff Koinange. I would wake up very early. And he used to have, like, a breakfast show. Yena Jalango. I would wake up so early just to listen to the radio station. I, I loved Jeff Koinange. I, I think nearly scared your radio station. I listened to that radio station for, like, eight solid months. Until one day they were giving a story and then Jalango mentioned, I think, about Jeff's wife or something. Like, I just realized this marriage. I switched off the radio. Pwap! Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Pam, 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 I have never listened to Jeff ever again. I have never. How can I be obsessed like that and you ha and you're married? Like what? I used to love his accent. I used to love how he laughs. Me, I love I love happy men. I used to love how he would laugh and make jokes and all that. But eh, Jeff Koinange, I'm going to pass you because you passed me also. Next is Andrew Kibe. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next tomorrow, not the day after today. I can't smash that guy. Have you ever looked at someone and you just feel like oh, you, his mouth might be smelling? Like, Kibe is a no for me. Not today, Kesho, Kesho, Kutu, I'm told to go. Uh uh, uh uh. Kibe no, and the way he disrespects women, he says all top, all sorts of crap about women. Ah, I can't thank you. And the person who wrote Kibe, Mungwa Kone, Mungine Jamal Rosafi. I respectfully, I am not attracted to men with big butts. Okay, I am not going to smash him. And all the best. I know he's married to a couple of women, both known and unknown. Confirmed and confirmed, but I'm confirming now that to me it's a no for me. Next is Edgar Obari. Let me tell you guys something. I find Edgar, uh, I find him, 
I find Edgar um, um, entertaining. He's very entertaining and he's very diligent at his, at his work. And he gives his work the very best. And he gives us hot tea that we drink. And there are days when you also wake up and find yourself to be the tea. But you still drink yourself. You get it? So I respect Edgar so much. But I cannot drink him. That one, I know. <laughs> I didn't love him. But as an entertainer. You get it? Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Next is Nick Wabike. Who is that now? Nick Wabike. Nick wa beti ke alo. Uyu si already beti ya namkunywa. Ama yende ya namkunywa beti. Which one is which? I can't drink that. I can't drink. Betty is already drinking. Let Betty do her thing. Let Betty be. Let Betty enjoy it. You get it? Yeah. The next one is Rono. Respectfully, I will pass Rono. Uh, if I was a lesbian, okay, I would pass Rono. No, because she's not beautiful. She's very beautiful. And she is um, confident and she loves herself and I love her too. But I I I love uh short girls. Like I'm really attracted to short girls. And Bruno is a bit tall. You get it? So it's it's got nothing to do with anything, it's just got everything to do with the height. She's a bit tall, and I think she's taller than me. So if we were supposed to like hook up, and she's supposed to be my let's say my girlfriend, if I'm doing girls i'm supposed to be the girlfriend no it's going to look like i'm short and you get it i like it when they are a bit short Lord, so it's i know for me but i still love her next is brenda jones brenda jones is very tall and so she's brenda jones is but she's she's so beautiful guys you people need to see brenda jones in person in real life brenda jones is so beautiful oh my god imagine there's someone who is dating brenda jones Malisafi Sana. She's a beautiful girl. Like, I love her. But I'll have to pass her. Because, ha! <laughs> Brenda, I'm passing you! Because she's dating someone. And I respect that. And I don't want it to look like... Now, every time they're watching my channel, they're like... The, 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 the person Brenda is dating is like... You know, I don't want to lo lose a follower. And whoever Brenda Jones is dating also really loves me. So, I don't want... So, Brenda Jones, I'm passing you. You have passed you. Next... Uh, next is Jalango. I, I really, really admire Jalango big time because of how hardworking he is, but I am not attracted to men with no hair. I love my my men with a little hair. It's just a preference, you know. So when it comes to the matters of the hair, I will say no. And I'm also not attracted to men who are from my, my ethnicity. Get it? I don't know if it's making any sense. And I just think it's a thing with my family members because... Our firstborn is married to a different tribe. Our second born to a different tribe. Like that. My brother is dating a different tribe. Stuff like that. And then there's only one. Ulem Tundu. You know, there's always one person. There's always one person who will say, Me, I'm not going to leave this Luo land. Me, this is where I die. So there's one. But me personally, I don't. I'm not attracted to men who are from my tribe. So it's a no thank you. Um, Bahati. Men, I respect Bahati on another level. The respect I have for that man is beyond me. Like, Bahati is top two and he's not number two. So, I'm not smashing because I'm not attracted to him sexually. But, hard work wise, I will smash. Like, he's so hard working. He takes every everything and turns them into positivity and turns them into a way. You talk about Bahati's hairstyle today. It's red and akakama Bahati bukuku. He will come up with white the next time. And that is what we call publicity. No publicity is wrong, good or bad publicity. It's good. Yeah. And then lastly, Uhuru Kenyatta. I am so humbled that you people have decided to give me the president. Out of all the people, you've decided that Sean should take the president and try to handle the president. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a presidential advisor, just know that I leave my email address down there. It's called Shona Rua Bookings at gmail.com. Tell the president that I am open for negotiations and my mouth is closed. I won't tell nobody about me and the president and our endeavors. Trust me. And before I forget, I saved the best for last. This person is highly requested. This one is highly, highly 
requested this one i need to write the person's name separately okay because this person is highly requested Sean Arwa. Let's go, 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 go. This one I will smash any day, any time because she's a queen. <laughs> I will smash. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye bye. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe.